Hey friends, it's Kim from Homestead Hopeful. I am out in the Sugar Shack and with the spring to make sure that we have everything that we need. We are just thinking forward to for maple syruping. We have made maple syrup at our old home, but in very small amounts. We only had one tree that was large enough to tab on our property. So we just took that sap and brought it in the house and boiled it down that way. Well, this year with our new property, we get a evaporator. So this will make the job much quicker and as well as a lot more. So we're hoping that we will get enough for not only our family's consumption, but possibly to give to our neighbors and things like that that have helped us out and given us all kinds of wonderful things. So some of the work that we had to do is obviously it'll need to be cleaned up and we won't really be cleaning it up too much until the weather starts to turn after winter. So cleanup isn't really on our radar right now, but what is is there is a pipe that goes out Side here and that pipe has been collecting condensation throughout the years and started to rust really badly so while the weather is still sort of friendly my husband is replacing that pipe so that we will be all set and ready to go in the springtime so let me show you that here are some of the buckets the old buckets I don't know if we're gonna use these or if we're gonna go the newer route and use five gallon buckets like we have done in the past with uh, rubber tubing, but all of the gear is here. We have all of the old fashioned taps, the metal taps. So we'll have to decide like what we're gonna do and if we're gonna use these, well, those will need to be cleaned up, but it has like the roofs and then the galvanized buckets that get attached to the tree with the little galvanized rooftops. But we'll have to decide what we wanna do. There's the holy tube. <laughs> it had lots of holes in it. So in order for everything to work properly, he has to put a new stove pipe on. And that's what he's doing today. Well, there's no snow. <laughs> so you're not replacing that part, right? I am. That stays? Oh, okay. No, it's there because I didn't want things crawling into it. <laughs> oh, well, it was open up. It's a nifty ladder there, Mr. Savino. It's useful to have, that's for sure. <laughs> Just as I suspected, the bees aren't doing too much of anything. It's a little too chilly out today. They were out yesterday though. I think it finally reached like 60, 62 degrees or so. It was really pretty. I probably should have put the candy patties on it then. I just didn't, I didn't have them ready. So I'll get those ready this weekend because I think we're supposed to have another day above 50 and that is a good day to do that. I'm kind of looking at the hive though and it looks like it's tilted a little sideways. Yeah, you can really tell it when I back up. Probably gonna have to put something on that for winter so that it doesn't continue to sink downward. Hmm, we'll have to see. All right, well, I'm gonna go in and make gingerbread and I'll come back out and to see the pretty new stove pipe. Yep. Love you. All right, it's noon and he should be done with that stove pipe. So I'm gonna go out and see how he's doing and bring some coffee. Cause who doesn't want a nice cup of coffee? Sounds like he is in the chicken shed though, which hmm. I thought he was done for that because we don't have any wood. So let's see what he's doing. What you doing? I uh, try to put this in and I keep cutting it wrong. <laughs> mm, I thought it was measure twice, cut once. It's more like measure five times and cut 12. Oh no. Would you like a drink of coffee? Sure. It's one of those fun things about construction. Did you finish the stove pipe? Oh, I'm dripping. Pardon? Did you finish the stove pipe? I did. Yay! I'll go around and take a peek. to do is I to put sealant in there. A lot of times you can use fire block sealant, but the fire block sealant I bought, interior use. Um, there's a difference? So apparently, yeah, I didn't actually know this myself. So there are water soluble ones and there's non water soluble ones. I oh. bought the water soluble one. Which means as soon as it rains, means, it's gonna... Yeah, if it rains, it'll fall out and wash okay. out what to do. So Why do you have the cap on the bottom? Why do you need an open bottom? Is that for cleaning or something? No. Yeah, exactly. It's because it's six inch and it's real easy just to take this off and just put a bucket here, pull it out, and it cleans it real well. A lot of stuff will settle in this. Oh, like, okay. You can see all this here. Oh, okay. That was in the chimney? That was the by the chimney. Oh, wow. So, okay. you know, there's more in here. Yeah. 
looks nice. What can I see? My storage is getting low, so. I and Annette was the Whoa! Teeth, or the, that the was elbow. the bottom half elbow, and it was just completely gone. Yeah, I mean, it, it burns them out pretty heavily. Why do we care if there was holes? It just yeah. wrapped right. So you could get like smoke the in there. Actually, okay. this could have been a fire hazard. Actually, this would have been a fire hazard. If you look down there, see all the leaves. At the elbow, all the you leaves know, at you're the just bottom. You have hot embers that could be dropping out into the bottom of those leaves, and that could be all kinds right. of bad days. Okay. Okay, friends, that's it for today. I will see you again sometime. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Stop saying that. I'm cutting that out every time you say it. Instead of just being a correct angle, it kind of goes you. Okay. Yep. Love you. Bye.